there is one aircraft that epitomizes the U.S. bombing campaign in World War II. Bristling with machine guns for defense, this flying fortress edges into our list at number 10. The B-17G Flying Fortress. Manufacturer, Boeing Airplane Company. Power plant, four Wright Cyclone 1,200 horsepower radial engines. Top speed, 287 miles per hour. Payload, normal bomb load, 6,000 pounds. Armament, 13.50 caliber machine guns. Range, 1,850 miles. During the 1930s and as the world was rushing headlong into a rearmament race, the U.S. military brass felt the need for a four-engine, heavily armed bomber. The theory in the 1930s was that the B-17 could be armored so heavily that it would be a flying fortress, hence its nickname. Put enough machine guns and gunners all around the aircraft and they might be able to hold off anything that the fighter forces threw at them. The B-17 became America's first four-engine bomber and initially was armed with five machine guns and could carry a 2,000-pound bomb load. For pilots that flew it, it was love at first sight. B-17 was a delightful airplane to fly. It, it had good engine out characteristics, it had ample control surfaces, it had a lot of wing area, which was great for the time, and uh, generally a, a very pleasant airplane to fly. Over the following years, the B-17 was continually upgraded, and when the U.S. was hurled into World War II after Pearl Harbor, the Flying Fortress boasted seven machine guns and a 4,000-pound payload. Although it now had a 2,000-mile range and a service ceiling of 35,000 feet, when the B-17 went against Hitler's Luftwaffe, it was beginning to show its age. B-17 is armed to the teeth, lots and lots of machine guns all over it, enabling it to fight off attack from fighters. But there are trade-offs, and one of them is that it is not able to fly very high, it's not pressurized, you've got a lot of people hanging out the windows with machine guns, and it's not especially big. B-17 is well armed, it's well able to protect itself, but it doesn't carry a large bomb load. Normally the uh, bomb load was uh, 2,000 pounds, maybe 4,000 pounds, pitiful compared to what the British Lancaster was doing, so the B-17 bomb load was, was never great. But it was in mass production, it was available, Boeing was turning them out ultimately at the rate of maybe 30 a day, you know, I mean, it was a fantastic uh, quantity that was ultimately produced, more than 13,000. By 1943, in formations of up to 1,000 aircraft at a time, the B-17 was thrown against the German war machine in daylight bomber raids. Although now armed with 13 machine guns, the Flying Fortress was a sitting target for enemy fighters and anti-aircraft fire. In all, the B-17 flew nearly 300,000 sorties and dropped 640,000 tons of bombs. But it came at a price. Over 5,500 B-17s were lost and nearly 45,000 crewmen killed. Despite this, the B-17 became an icon to the American public and was loved by all its crews. But its operational payload lets it down, as does its short service length of five years. Also marked down is its innovation rating, but scores high on defensive armament and fear factor. But it's not enough to place it any higher than 10th place in our top 10 bombers list. <laughs>